Good morning, friends. It's Mrs. Miss Alexa, and I am so glad that we get to do circle time together again today. I have two helpers with me. This is my daughter, Cora. Cora, can you say good morning to your friends? And this is Rowan. Rowan, can you say good morning? We are so excited that we're going to do circle time with you, and we are going to start with our good morning song. So we, this time, are going to, what do you want to do, Cora? Do you want to tap your legs? Tap your head. Okay, we're gonna tap our head. Ready? Rowan, you're gonna tap your legs? All right, here we go. I'm so glad we are together, together, together. I'm so glad we are together at Little Promises with Miss Alexa and Rowan and Cora and all our friends. I'm so glad we are together, together, together. I'm so glad we are together at Little Promises. Fantastic job, everyone. After we do our welcome song, we are always gonna go, there's bugs out here with us. Oh, oh. <laughs> did I scare you? Yeah. <laughs> our theme this week is bugs. And so we decided to do circle time outside in nature, maybe with some bugs flying by. <gasps> Is there one crawling on our paper? <gasps> oh my goodness, there are bugs everywhere. Well, let's ignore our bugs a minute and let's go to the Lord in prayer. So let's get our wiggles out. You ready to help me? Get your wiggles out ready up high, down low, on your tummy, on your shoulders. We're gonna talk to God so you can fold your hands and close your eyes or you may lift them to the Lord. So Cora, can you choose what are you gonna do? Can you show me? Oh, no, it's time to pray. Can you show me praying hands or lifting them to the Lord? All right, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for another day that we can be at home with our mommies and daddies. God, I ask that you help our little hearts understand why we can't be at school with our friends. Lord, help us to have peace and to have joy in this season. God, we trust you and we love you. It's in your son's precious and holy name I pray. Amen. <coughs> all right. I know that you guys have been working hard on a Bible verse all month long, and so we are going to do it together. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Scoot in, Cora, so they can see you. Come over here. Okay. Oh, right on my lap. Here we go. Can we do our Bible verse together? It goes, with God, God all, all things are possible. possible. Matthew 19, 26. Okay, let's do it in a really squeaky high voice. Are you ready? Can you do it in a mousy voice with me? Here we go, ready? With God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Kiss your brains. You are smarty pants. All right, Cora, can you sit back on your bottom for me? Friends, we are going to be doing a new Bible verse next week when I join you for our Holy Week lesson. So I can't wait to do that new Bible verse with you. We're just going to finish out this week with God. All things are possible. are possible. All right. After our prayer, we are going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'm going to stay seated because you won't be able to see me if I stand up. But Rowan and Cora, would you stand up to say our pledge? And friends, you can't see our flag, but our flag in our at our house is right over there. So we're going to face our flag. We're going to put our hands on our hearts, and we are going to say the pledge. Ready, Rowan? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Fantastic. Okay, you girls, nope, stay standing. You guys are gonna stand up because now I already told you we are talking about what this week? B B Bible. Not the Bible, but B B Bugs. All about bugs. And so we are gonna do some bug stretches to get you moving this morning. So I think I just saw the I think I just saw a ladybug. <gasps> You think you just saw a ladybug? Well, then let's start by flapping like a ladybug. Are you ready? Get your little wings out, and we're going to flap like a ladybug. Here we go. Flap, 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 flap. All right. Our next bug friend is going to be a cricket. Girls, can you hop like a cricket? Hop. Whoa. Those are really big hops, friends. 
are you hopping at home? All right, Rowan, hop over here so they can see you. All right, my next one. Whoa, we lost Cora. The next one, we're going to move slow like a snail. Can you move really slow like you're a snail? Oh, my. Okay, now we're going to move fast like we're a fly. Stop. Slow like a snail. Slow like a snail. No more. Slow like a snail. Fast like a fly. Bzzz. Don't say any sounds. Quiet. And stop. Quiet. Do you hear the crickets? All right, we're going to keep going on our lesson. Now I need you to march like an ant. March, 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 march. Creep like a spider. Creep and crawl. Creep and What's crawl. What's coming out of that? It's okay. Creep and crawl. Creep and crawl. What's coming crawl. out of that um, place? I'm not sure, but we'll talk about it in a second, okay? okay. Creep and crawl. Last one. Are you ready? We're going to get our little wiggles out, and we're going to wiggle like a worm. Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Faster. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. I need all my friends to check yourself. Are you crisscross applesauce? Yes. Do you have your lips quiet? Do you have your listening ears on? And your helping hands, Cora, are in your lap. Perfect. Friends, I want to talk to you about a word that starts with a p, p, p sound. We're going to talk p, about p, caterpillar. There is a p sound in caterpillar, but caterpillar starts with a c. We are going to talk about patterns. Can you say patterns, friends? Patterns. Patterns are something that repeat over and over and over. So we're going to make a pattern with our hands, and we're going to slap, clap. Can you join us in this pattern? Ready? Slap, clap, slap, clap, slap, clap, slap. What do I do after I slap? Clap. All right, let's try again. Ready? Slap, clap, slap, clap, slap, clap. What's next? Slap. Good. Now I'm going to do a pattern with my girls. Remember, this is Cora and this is Rowan. So I'm going to do a pattern with them. I'm going to tap their heads. Ready? Cora, Rowan. Cora, Rowan. Cora, whose head do I tap next? Tell me. Rowan. Rowan. All right, we're going to do it faster. Ready? Cora, Rowan. Cora, Rowan. Cora, Rowan. Cora. 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 Good. Okay, let's try it with colors now. Colors are my favorite patterns. What's your favorite color? Red and pink. You like red and pink? We'll use Cora's colors, okay? <laughs> so we're going to say red, pink, pink. Red, red, pink, pink. red, pink. <gasps> what do we say after pink, friends? Red. Good job. All right, friends, I want to tell you that God has used patterns in his creation. And he has used many patterns on bugs. And so I have a few pictures of bugs here that have beautiful patterns that I want to show you. If you know what this bug is, I want you to shout it out loud on three. Cat. One, two, two three. Cat. I have a caterpillar, and this caterpillar has a beautiful pattern. I see green, black, green, black, and on the black, I see orange polka dots. And that pattern repeats over and over and over on my caterpillar. So God put a pattern in his creation of this caterpillar. I have another one to show you. I won't, don't say anything, okay? Let it be a surprise for my friends. On the count of three, if you know what kind of bug this is, I want you to shout it out loud. One, two, two three. three. Another caterpillar. He has a pretty pattern. His is yellow, black, and white. And that pattern repeats the whole way down his body. He has a beautiful pattern. 
All right, this friend, we're gonna see if you can guess this bug. This bug buzzes around. Can we make a buzz sound, friends? Ready? Buzz. Buzz. <gasps> this friend collects pollen from the flowers and he makes honey. Can you guess what it is? One, two, three. Bumblebee. Bee. It's a bumblebee and he has a pattern too. Bumble. He is black, yellow, Black, yellow, black, yellow. God put a pattern on the bumblebee. All right, friends, I have one more. I'm gonna show you, oh, I gave you a sneak peek. I'm gonna show you on the count of three. One, two, two three. three. Spider! <gasps> oh, he kind of looks like a spider, but he's actually a beetle. Can you say beetle, friends? Beetle. Beetle. Rowan, what sound does b, b, beetle start with? B. A B. Good job. Let's take your ninja hood down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. On my beetle friend, I see black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Yeah. You're right. Cora, you need to come sit. Thank you. My beetle has black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Oh, if you see, there's a bug and he just came. I think he's a beetle. We just had a real beetle fly into can our circle time. Can Friends, can you say hi, Mr. Beetle? Hi, Mr. Beetle. He's in my hand. I'm not sure if you can see him there, but he just flew right into our Is circle time. Nope, he's just pretending. All right, let's finish up our circle time. I want to show Ooh. you. Sit down, please. I want to show you the activity that I have. I'll put Mr. Beetle right here and he can just watch us, okay? I wanna show you the activities that I have for you today. So in your packet, you have a little packet of different color. What shape is this? Caterpillar. It's a caterpillar, but what shape do you see? Shape. I see a circle. Friends, do you see circles? You have different sheets of colored paper that go with a caterpillar. Friends, your job, if you're one of my older friends, you're gonna cut the circles out by yourself, all of them, and then you are going to put them together in a pattern for your caterpillar. My pattern would be pink, orange, yellow. Pink, orange, yellow. Pink, orange, yellow. yellow. You're gonna make a big, beautiful caterpillar. And if you're one of my maybe three-year-old, four-year-old friends, I want you to then write your name on your caterpillar. So on my caterpillar, I would write Alexa. A-L-E-X-A. -E if your name is Cora, you would write C-O-R-A. My friends who are a little younger, if you're not quite ready for scissors, mommy, daddy, grandma, brother, somebody else can cut out the circles for you. They can write the letters Mama, that I you can, can use scissors. I know you can. They can write the letters that you can trace Shoot. or they can write them and help you glue them in order. But all of my friends can make a beautiful caterpillar just like our caterpillars that are out in God's creation with a pattern. I want to show you one more craft before we finish up. I have one more activity in your bags and for each of you it's going to be pipe cleaners and beads and you are going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to twist, mom and dad can help if they need to, you're going to twist a little head for your caterpillar at the top. I have enough so there's two, maybe you have a brother or sister who wants to help. You're gonna twist a head on your caterpillar. And once the caterpillar has a head, you are gonna use the beads. Go ahead, Cora. You are gonna use the beads to make a body. In our bag, we have blue, green, and black. And we are gonna try to make a pattern on our caterpillar. My four-year-old friends, you probably have the beads that will help you make a pattern. My younger friends, I just wanna see you do your very best to put your pretty beads on your caterpillar and yours can be more of a rainbow if you can't make a pattern. Mama, so I, I hope pink and red. maybe we can get you pink and red inside. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you enjoyed circle time with Miss Alexa and with Cora and with Rowan today. 
We miss you, friends, and I cannot wait to see you. Tomorrow, I think your circle time is with Miss Kelly, and some of her friends are going to join you for circle time. And then you're also going to get to see Miss Kristen and Miss Patty and Miss Heather later this week. So I will be back with you guys on Monday so that we can do our Holy Week lessons together and we can dig into God's Word and we can learn a new Bible verse and we can sing praises. But we are going to finish the rest of our week celebrating b b Bugs. Good job, Rowan. All right. Goodbye, friends. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.